Okay, what we're going to do here is um, start um, doing some movements, making some transition with the, the platforms. The first one we're going to try is, uh, is a thing called um, paths. So what I've got here is just uh, an ordinary block fixed platform it's got collide on it no movement set to it at all so um where you can find these um they're in the, they're in a thing called the logic um blocks so what we'll do is we'll just grab this and um First thing you'll see, that's the where the center of it begins. Click on your plus button. This will um, set your next point in your path. Grab your plus button again. Get you to the next point in the path. Plus button again. and your last plus button again Oops. so you can edit your um, your path by clicking on the, the small um, little um, little arrows, um, you can plus another point in there and again you can just sort of make a it won't be a brilliantly smooth path but um, it'll it'll be fine And radio. So that's uh, your your rough path um, that you want your um, moving platform to follow. Uh, so now you've got your path selected. You also um, need to remember the name of your. Um, your platform or what you're trying to actually move so um, so radio um, now what this does is a, is a search radius this is in pixels which it will look for the um, so we'll say we want it to um, an asset to to follow it. It's got all assets. I prefer not to do that. For instance, I know that the the object we're trying to move is O four dash one, which is this little platform here. Now, what we can now the speed is a bit too high, about 10 should be fine search radius, probably we don't need to even go that high, we'll just say 10 and um, I think the, these are the, the play modes, single mode will just obviously just go around once loop will continuously loop around and um, ping pong will um, will uh, go back and forth along the paths so we'll try looping 
we'll click our preview section button so as you can see it just loops along there although it does do a little jump I'm not real sure what's what causes that little jump at the end which is a bit annoying okay so what we'll do we'll set this to uh, ping pong so that should loop back and forth right that's not too bad so we'll just try and leap on him and that gets him over the over to the other side okay so that's the first um, logic piece we're putting in is the path so the next one we'll just do a simple transform on on the next one the next one we're going to try is um, the tra um, transform um, logic block so we'll just drag this over here I'm actually going to turn off snapping because that can be a bit annoying at the moment so what the logic block will do is anything that collides with it which you um, specify it will um, perform an action a uh, transition action so we'll say we'll put the the block about here and um, what we what we want it to do is um, what we need is um, for something to for it to run in uh, something to run into it. So as you can see, where is he? This guy 041 04-1 is our platform again, and um, what we need to do is give it um, a velocity. Now, this um, the velocity. I know it should actually. I don't know why they don't label these x and y. So basically, this one, the top one here, linear velocity, is x, which goes across the screen, and the next one down is y, which goes up and down the screen. Now you can also plug in um, another speed and it'll randomly choose between the two speeds well I think that's my understanding you can also um, with the with the object you can have the object spin around too and that basically will spin um, at an angular speed just round and round so basically you put it in in there for the angular speed but what we want is um, an X speed now it's um, positive um, X goes that way and negative X goes this way and we want it to run into that so we want to go um, in a negative um, direction which is We'll go minus five, and um, and what we'll do is we'll just demo this. We'll grab our um, little guy instead of him marching along and we have to battle that. We just want to see this straight away so we can see what's what's going on here. So um, we'll press our little button again and straight away you can see yep it's taken off obviously it's gone behind there because we've um, we haven't got anything on the um, transition piece yet so 
we select uh, your um, transition block and um, I've got this effect asset and that's the 041 again and what I want to do is um, replace it you can multiply it uh, you can add to it which obviously spe would speed up the current speed on the block or minus from it but replace will totally replace um, the velocity but you specify what um, that velocity is so um, at the moment this is negative 5 so we want it to go back the other way say at 5 so um, again it's a little bit hard to um, know which box does what you know that I still think it should be labeled but it's X and Y in these so we want it to go um, positive 5 when it hits the block so we'll just test the, test that out now and as you can see it went straight away and reverse directions so now what we can do is we'll just do um, hit the D key to duplicate the block and we want the it to go back to um, negative in the negative direction again so we'll go minus 5 we'll click our little block again and as you can see it um, it gets caught in an endless loop now our little guy should be able to um, jump on me well obviously you can <laughs> So when would you do it? Probably you would wait for it, say, to hit there and then start your jump. So that's all about timing. So that's, um, that's the basics of the uh, actual transition block we'll be using them um, on these guys as well in the in the next next bit right in this one we'll use the transition um, block again we'll just drag one in and this time we want um, it to go in the y direction so again, um, choose your asset, 4-1, um, and we'll do the replace again. And um, now, let me figure this out. I'm a little bit not sure about where the, so the Y direction, if I want it to go down, I think that's negative. So we won't go as fast this time we'll go negative three okay we'll just test that right so negative three is about right so when it hits here we want it to um, go up in the y direction and um, positive three in the second um, box there in the linear modifier and what we'll do is um, W key to duplicate that and hold your shift key and drag drag up and we'll put in negative three 
So we'll just test that. Right, working perfect. So what I'm going to do is actually control click on that one and that one. Go control C, control D. Grab your, your blocks again. Hold down your shift key and put that there. So you'll get two blocks there that are exactly the same. And what we want to do is grab these guys again. Control C, Control D. Grab your blocks, hold your shift key down to keep it there. And now we need to set the, the linear velocity on these ones now. So we'll set this one to minus 3. And we'll set this one to um, minus 3 as well. And we'll give that a test. And as you can see, um, now you've got a, a nice little hard part for um, a guy to try and jump across. And he still gets killed. So the last last part of this one is um, our block here again. And instead of going typing out everything again, we'll just copy these ones. You've got to try and make things easy for yourself. So we'll go Control C, Control D, and we'll just drag these over to roughly where we want and you'll have to test these out because you you might you might have to give yourself a bit more room don't make it too impossible Oh, shocker. And the one thing we forgot to do on the other block over there is, um, is add the linear velocity, obviously. Yeah, he's got nothing there, so it's um, minus 5. And we'll just cheat a bit, we'll just dump him on here, just to have a look. So he's jumping um, back and forwards. Yep, but basically that's um, that's all you need to know about the um, those uh, transform blocks. Just um, be mindful which way is positive, which way is negative. So. Um, Remember that way is negative x, that way is positive x, and then we've got y um, 
positive y is up and negative y is down. So you keep those in mind and it'll be pretty easy. So that concludes um, this part of the tutorial on the um, transition blocks and the, and the um, path and we'll see you in the next one.